It's one of the earliest grape harvests local growers have seen in the last 25 years. Grapes already getting crushed. News 10's Molly Trotter tells us how the hot temperatures are affecting the wine filling your glass. Winemakers seeing the fruit of their labor coming in early this year. Eric Weisinger at the Weisinger Family Winery says this is the earliest he's seen grapes being harvested. This is our 26th harvest, and uh, in the last 26 years, this will be the first time that we've ever harvested in August. Just right down the road, sounds of harvest from Danson Vineyards. Also coming in early. And we had bud break early, and it takes a certain amount of time to, to ripen the fruit, and we just happen to be finishing a bit early this year. Dan Marcus says a storm back in December damaged at least 15% of their crop, but in the end helped them during this year's drought with less crops to water. I just think it might be Mother's Nature, Mother Nature's way to compensate for a drought year. A typical harvest will take place in the later half of October going into November, but the heat being one of the biggest contributing factors to the rapid production. Marcus says he also watches his water use with moisture sensors. We also go through the vineyard and we dig holes. We kind of see what's really there and it's allowed us to not start watering here until July 4th and we only water three times a week, very limited. By the end of August we'll be done with watering here, so less than two months in a drought year. Danson Vineyards is expecting to wrap up production before November, which he says leaves time for other additions coming to the property. We just watch every facet of production just to try to get the best that we can out of this vineyard. Covering your news, Molly Trotter, News 10. And Danson is planning to plant more grapes to expand their vineyard off South Stage Road in 2015.